everyone i hope you're all doing really well and happy new year to you all i am very excited to film this video today because i've been accumulating these items for a while and they are part of a favorite hobby of mine which is vintage and antique shopping i have a selection of clothes and homeware bits to show you so i'm going to get straight on in with the video most of these items i picked up when i went for a little staycation in herefordshire with my boyfriend we stayed in a very cute little shepherd's hut i'll put a little picture on the screen um, and i actually wrote a little blog post about my stay and all of the vintage shops that we went to so if you want to plan a trip to any of these shops um, then I will leave the blog post link down below because it's got the names of the shops. Um, we went to Ludlow and Lempster in Herefordshire, if you're wondering. But obviously there's lots of vintage and antique shops all over the place. Um, I went to Brighton recently and I was actually really disappointed with the vintage antiques there. I just felt like they were quite modern and not quite as not quite what I'd have hoped from Brighton um, but there's some really good ones around where I live in Oxfordshire there is the Brackley Antique Cellar which is one of my favourite places there's one called like the Old Flight Shed I think um, and Second Time Around in Banbury so there's lots of different ones all scattered around and it's always good to be brave and try and bastard the people down there because most places will go at least 10% off the asking price if they're willing to. So yeah, I've had my little haggling hat on recently and I've managed to get some really good deals on quite a few things. So I thought I'd share them all with you. Um, I'm going to start with vintage fashion because I have three really gorgeous items to show you. So the first vintage piece is this gorgeous dress which I picked up in Lempster. I've given it a wash and I've also altered it a little bit because it would not do up on me. <laughs> it also had a zip that was stuck halfway down so I've added a new zip into the back and I added some side panels. It's not my best sewing work, I'm not going to lie, but um, <clears throat> it does the trick and I now fit into it. This was £26 which I thought was a very good price. It's definitely been handmade by someone which I think is really special. Um, so I've now got a vintage handmade piece in my wardrobe which I think is really lovely and I really love this line that goes along the hips and all the gathering, it's quite heavy. <laughs> my arm is getting quite tired holding this up um, but yeah it's a beautiful beautiful dress. The seams inside are not finished off all that well from the previous person who made it but I think it's not going to be like an everyday dress for me but I think it could be quite cool with like a tight stripy top on underneath to make it more casual perhaps and some trainers. I also thought if I don't end up wearing it it'll be really good to have in my studio for like a research item and I can take note on the little bits of construction that I really like in this dress. So yeah very very happy with this. Then in one of the shops in Ludlow I found this gorgeous blue checked shirt and it's a tiny bit tight on my neck but I think I'll hopefully be able to get used to that sensation. I think I'm just not used to having a tight shirt around my neck um, but I absolutely loved the detailing in the collar. It's just got little gathers towards the placket and it's also got a little ruching gather at the back and I love the fabric. It's such a soft cotton and the check print is just stunning so I couldn't leave this alone and this was more expensive than the dress um, this was around 40 pounds I couldn't really budge her much on this price um, which I was annoyed at and I think I definitely did not need to spend 40 pounds on this shirt but I also think it's beautiful and I could not leave it in the shop Ludlow definitely had much more expensive antiques than Lempster so this one was a little bit more expensive but I absolutely love it. And then over the Christmas and New Year period, I don't know about you guys but I spend a lot of time on my phone looking at the sales and just scrolling, searching and one of my favourite things to do this year was to look at vintage fashion on eBay and try and find nice things on there instead of buying lots of 
brand new items. And one item I've always really, really wanted is a vintage Laura Ashley dress, but they are very expensive and rightfully so because they are pretty rare. And the ones I want are from when they were made in Wales. So they're gonna be pretty expensive, <laughs> but maybe one day I shall treat myself to one of those dresses. But when searching for Laura Ashley dresses, this one popped up on eBay and it is from a Laura Ashley St. Michael collaboration, so old M&S. And this just looked very wearable and very up my street. So it's this very cute blue floral dress and it's got this gorgeous bit of velvet trimming going down the front with this little bit of lace. And then at the waist, it's got this little sort of peplum flounce going on and then the skirt is just sort of straight A-line. The problem with this dress is now I really want some blue velvet heels. I just think that would look stunning and the annoying thing is I used to have some but I sold them on Depop. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think I paid about £40 for this. A lot cheaper than the maybe £200 original Laura Ashley dresses. <laughs> so those are all of the vintage clothing bits that I have found recently. And moving on, still kind of clothing related, I have a few textiles to show you. First one is a pair of curtains from one of the shops in Lempster. And they're in this beautiful green, little green and white floral print. I thought this was very Laura Ashley-esque. Um, it doesn't actually say where the fabric's from. They look like they've been handmade again. Um, so the fabric is in really good condition and there were two of these. Um, and I'm either gonna cut them up and make them into something or I'm going to save them for when I eventually have my own place. <laughs> because they're actually really nicely made curtains and I think they would look super cute actually as curtains. <laughs> the next bit of textiles I am definitely going to cut up at some point um, and I'll probably make a blouse or a little dress out of this and this is just a single flat sheet so whenever I cut something out I'm gonna have to be very careful because I'll only have a certain amount of fabric but this should be plenty of fabric to make a blouse or a little mini dress. I love the sort of 70s colours it's got going on and a little floral print so yes, very happy with that. And I think it was quite a good price as well. Both of these were a reasonably good price for fabric. Then for actual homeware, the first item I picked up is this white embroidered bolster cushion. And I've always wanted one of these cushions because in my little vintage Laura Ashley home books, they've always got cushions like this, um, all little funny shaped cushions. And it actually, goes perfectly on my bed because I already have some white sort of embroidered cushions um, so this really just went straight into my bed and it just works really well so I'm very happy about that and it's down as well so it's like super squishy so yeah I think this was about eight pounds so not bad I don't think it's hugely vintage um, but that's okay and then behind me there is a little brass bow hanging up on my wall and that is also from one of the shops in Lempster. So this is the bow close up. I just really like the way it looks on my wall with the sort of harshness of the metal and then the softness of the pink and the textiles behind it. You can't really have a picture frame behind me anymore because I've added this new double curtain. So it works really well in that little space just to add a little bit of interest. I have a few bits of crockery to show you and then I also have two things that I can't physically hold in this video to show you so I'll show you those at the end. I picked up a very cute cutlery set, very 70s. I thought they looked quite Zara Home-esque so they've all had a good wash and they're just sitting waiting in my studio for when I move out. <laughs> I then found two very cute brass candlestick holders and I just popped some candles in them. Luckily the candles fit really nicely in these so that's always great when candles just slot straight into them and these will just look really lovely on a nice little tablescape. Um, I know you're probably meant to buff them and make them look nicer but I actually really like the way they look when they're sort of aged and not so perfect. I also picked up a set of these really cute little 
bowl plates from Lempster. I think I got about seven of these, seven or eight. Um, so I think they just look really cute and I'm using them for display purpose at the moment, but I will also use them for actual eating one day. <laughs> but I just love the colour. They look slightly more yellow in some lights and then they look slightly more cream in others. So yeah, but I really love the shape and how vintage they look. I then have two very pink eBay finds. The first one is this little serving bowl dish and these were very much triggered by my friend Amber and her Christmas tablescape because she has had these in her family for quite a while and every time she puts them out I'm always reminded of how much I really want them. <laughs> um, and I actually ordered one really big serving dish and it arrived completely broken so I was very upset and this one luckily arrived fine and they're Rosa J&G Meeking England if you're interested in them you can just type them into eBay and they have a few on there. I also picked up this little dish from the same range on eBay and I thought this was going to be absolutely massive as in like a proper serving dish size and it arrived and it looks like this so I just sort of saw that was quite funny but they did describe it as a serving dish and I wouldn't say I don't know I guess it's a serving dish but in my head serving dishes are just really big so that was a little disappointing but it actually works really nice as like a trinket dish with candles on it and little bits and bobs and then one of my favorite finds in Lempster was a vintage plate rack and it's very very old and sort of shabby looking but it's still in good condition and holds plates nicely and I just love the look of it it's very sort of old farmhouse style so I put that above my vintage dresser in my little studio downstairs and I really love the way it looks it's just got a few plates on it and yeah just sort of makes that area look really nice um, so I will put a video or a clip next to me of that and I think I paid £50 for that so yeah I think I managed to haggle them down quite a bit on that one <laughs> and then the last item I have is something I've wanted for so long and that I've just been hunting down forever and it's just they're just so hard to find <laughs> and that is a Victorian pine chest of drawers and they're very hard to come by the ones that I like, I like the ones with the nice curved edges and a really deep drawer at the bottom and that is exactly what I found on Etsy over Christmas and I was just itching to go and see it so I went to go and see it, luckily it was actually only like an hour away from me at home so I just drove over and looked at it and bought it off him and took it home in the car and amazingly it fitted in the car it's not actually too huge but it's sitting over there in the corner of my room right now and it just looks so pretty and it's got my new lamp on it which i bought in the urban outfit to sale so yeah i'm very very happy with all of my beautiful finds recently and i'm just feeling very content with everything i have at the moment so i'm not going shopping in january trying not to um and it's going well so far um, i'm going to try and make it last into february um and my little rule to myself is as long as it's second hand then maybe okay but do you need it and i'm trying not to buy anything new um, i did buy a few things in the sale but they were sort of investment pieces i didn't go crazy in the sale i bought like a nice jumper um a top and a bikini from peony which is my absolute favorite swimwear brand and i finally have something from them i haven't been very proactive at the start of the year because i caught covid in the new year and that sort of knocked me back a bit i felt absolutely fine to be honest i just had a cold it was just the fact that it was you can't really do much when you're feeling better <laughs> please let me know in the comments down below which item is your favorite i think mine is probably the chest of drawers because it's just something i've been searching for for so long um and i finally got one Yay. <laughs> so yeah i hope you're all doing really well and i will see you in my next video bye